Okay, Dave. Take a look at your swing here. A little weak right hand. Could be an issue. You know, uh, when you email me back, let me know what your ball flight is. What your bad shot is. What tendencies you have. And... Um, I'll take a look. Um, let's go down the line first. Okay, now again, without knowing your uh, tendencies, uh, some of the information that I'm going to give you would be germane and some of it may not apply. In other words, we do these almost on a sight unseen basis without knowing whether you fight a hook, whether you top, whether you slice it. How it applies, would, it would help me to know ball flight. But I'm going to do a more generic prescription here for you. A little bit of weight setting back on your heels. And get my chin off my chest just a little bit. And we'll watch you go back here. Okay, so the first thing we notice is that it's very flat and under the plane going back. Club gets quickly behind your hands and open. This face is now open. So you've had excessive rolling of your right forearm there. Mm -hmm. Club rolled open behind you. So, the way you check this is this. When your left arm here gets parallel to the ground, you're about in a halfway back position. Now here you are in a 48 degree position, and here you are in about a 51 degree position. Most tour pros, and I don't know your height either, but most tour pros go up about seven degrees there and they have their hands a little more centered on their body. So you have a flat swing. But for, you don't look that tall, so you're, that, this may be the leverage syndrome, uh, the, the leverage uh, force factor that you, that you need. Second thing I would suggest is more wrist hinge. This club is really deep behind you right now. Your arm is really pretty flat and the club is pretty far behind you. I'd, I'd like to see you get eventually the hands not quite as deep. They might want to go to here and or if you're going to play with this plane, which is a flatter plane, you need to get more hinge in your wrist joint. Okay, a lot going on with the feet and the knees are a little bit busy here. Um, so you can see the swing is like three quarters and it's a little bit laid off. And then it comes down way under from the inside. Um, I don't know what your skill level is or your handicap level is, but it would help us to get you to the ball a little bit straighter, meaning that I don't want the club to come under the plane like this. And I don't think it, it wants to come as much from the inside as it's coming here. It wants to come in a little bit straighter. I'm assuming you fight some blocks off to the right and occasionally some hooks. And one thing you do well is you maintain your body position pretty well. You still got your butt on the line. Uh, you haven't bailed out of it. And that's good. Let's go back here and take this out now. We're going to go to the one on the side a little bit. So we know that it gets under plane and open fairly early from rolling. So what I'd do is I wouldn't let the club get behind me. I'd keep the left arm on the chest a little bit more. 
and I'd get some wrist hinge to this. This needs another lever added to it. Because right now it's kind of locked up with your body. There's not a lot of independence of the club. So what we want to do is get the wrist hinge and get the swing a little more vertical. You see over here on the right how you've got the club at this point almost fully released and you're way back here behind the ball. That's something that you have to have a lot of strong body motion through the ball to do. This is a very early release. There's the early release happening. It's well under the plane. It should never get under that plane. All right, so let's go here and take swing. A flat swing like Sergio tends to do. See that club come right down that line? How's he do it? He holds the angle a little bit more and he rotates his body real hard. He should be under plane with this swing. And here he's playing the draw, obviously, and it's coming hard from the inside. But you see the rotation that's necessary? Yeah. And yours isn't bad. A lot, of, a lot of amateur golfers don't have as much as you do, but here's Justin Rose. You'll never let that club get under that plane. He pulls the angle down and he rotates the body through. Because yours gets cast early and it's too locked up to your body, the, the, the one phrase that I would have to describe this motion more than any is locked up, meaning that your club has not got enough independence from your hands, arms, and body. That's what we want to do for you, is to get you a little freer with this motion. And depending upon your height, which I don't know, uh, you're going to want to establish your hands more up over your shoulders. I want to show you. You see, you can take Justin, for example, here. Right up over that right shoulder. And Luke Donald, who also plays a little bit of a, right up over that right shoulder. And Tiger, right up over the right shoulder. See, so if I drew a line down from the butt of Tiger's grip, pretty much right there over the balls of his feet. Right? If I draw a line down from your grip, you can see how far this is getting behind you. So I eventually would work you up more with more wrist cock. I don't want your hands to go that deep. Now this is a taller individual than you, I'm assuming, but he's on 54 there, and your arm is really kind of flat. Now, again, if you want to keep that plane, if you feel comfortable with that plane, you can do it, but you definitely need more wrist hinge than this. So we're going to go up, and we're going to hinge the wrist a little bit. And clearly, coming down, you've got to get a little bit more lag in there. You can't throw the club this early and hang back and try to rely on the, the big draw every time. What I'd like to see you do is just pull it down a little bit longer and definitely get the body open. See, what I, what I want to do for you is at this point I'd like the hips to be already open. See Tiger coming down there? There's that great turn that all good players have to the ball. This is why the glute muscles here have to be really trained and, and that, that's one of the best areas that you can uh, train to get stronger. Because when you can push off and really use the ground and train it like that, you get rid of some of these fat shots that I'm sure you occasionally have. All right. So more turn through, a little bit more up. Now let's look at it from this side. You could, you could establish your hands a little further in front like Rory has right here. Get the club leaning on an angle like that. I kind of like that for irons. I'm 
kind of a lowering of your right side, almost like a little early reverse pivot. Although your body work isn't too bad if we just got your hands a little bit more up. So you're, he's fully set here. He's going to go fully cocked position at the top. And he starts down, and your upper body and club are all running together here. Rory's going to start the lower body down like that, and he's going to keep his angle a little bit longer. Now here comes the explosion. Okay, so you want to feel like you separate your upper from your lower. You need to keep this release a little bit later and get much more explosive with your body through the ball. Wouldn't even mind seeing you doing some lower body training in that area so you could get develop the ability to do it. This is all one motion. Okay, we want to keep the shoulders closed longer. Watch how he starts down. Look how long that back stays to the target. Yeah? You don't want to feel like you have to open the shoulders too early. The reason you're opening this body as early as you are is because of that early release. And come through there. It's really not a bad golf swing, though. Uh, what you have to work on, Dave, is uh, getting the the... You might want to go a little stronger in your grip. Get your chin up a little bit. At this point here, don't let it fan in behind you. Keep the club more in line with your hand. Swing it up over your right shoulder. Pull it down and explode through the ball a little bit more. I just like to go a little bit more up and down with you. I think it's working around your body too much. And that aroundness has got you locked up with the arms, club, and body not operating independently of each other. They have to be in sync, but they all have a different job. Okay? All right, I hope that helps you. Uh, my video service online works that if you uh, send me another student, you get a free analysis down the road. If you do that and take advantage of that, uh, you don't want to send it to me right away. You want to work on it for a month or so, and then let me see another one. All right, now you know how it's done. I'll see you in the future. Good luck with your golf. Where Where is this? Where are you? What range? Or what part of the country are you in?